Okay, this is video number two of Tom Top's 4G modem. It's actually Telstra branded, comes like that. Here it is here. It's just doing a reboot. Now, originally I sent a message to Tom Top of this in this boot loop that it's doing now. It's just going to keep doing that. They told me that, oh, this means the battery's flat. Actually, it doesn't mean the battery's flat. It's been fully charged, as you can see now it's on charge. That's plugged into a power point and what I've done is unplug him my mobile phone plug it into the mobile alright, oops if you look at the top of my mobile phone there, yep, it's got the little lightning bolt on which means he's charging so unplug that now go into the top modem and that's what it shows you while it's plugged into charge and there we go we're rebooting again we'll just let it loop the first time I sent a message to them about it not working a friend of mine actually is a technician for Telstra and works with these every day I told them it was in a boot loop they told me it's a setting um, the first video I did showed that you didn't even have time to get into the settings it just keeps looping like this it doesn't do this until you put a sim card in it it's been tested for multiple sim cards and it still does it. Um, just let it keep going. So plugged into power and any second now. Pretty much boots up and then it reboots itself. Up oh, there we go. And he rebeats again and back into the same vicious loop. So I'm popping this on the internet for the whole world to see. I'd like to help the experts at Tom Top that know all about these devices to know that yes, the battery light does look like that. And it has got power running to it. It's got a battery to it in it. Let pop him open. There's the battery in it working. Uh, pop that down there while I pop it open. Got an activated Telstra SIM in it. That works with other ones of these devices, no problems. So, yet again, anyway. Tom Top didn't want to do a refund, they still don't want to do a refund, but I've contacted PayPal, they've watched the first video and they've agreed with me it's faulty. PayPal's agreed to refund it. Tom Top have sent me an email asking me to do this and do that. It definitely doesn't work, so long story short, you're going to be able to deal with Tom Top, use PayPal, otherwise you will not get your money back from them. Raise that claim straight away. In my case, they responded and they denied it and told me it was a setting and then that was it. I replied to that and posted the first video. They did not reply to that. They were probably hoping it would run out of time. I then had to escalate it with um, PayPal. They still didn't do anything after it being escalated. And finally, PayPal's basically refunding it to me because TomTop don't want to pay ball. I've spent hundreds of dollars with TomTop, probably over six, seven hundred dollars, I'd say at least. Um, this is the first faulty product I've had from them, but um, it's also one of the dearest single items I've purchased from them. And they basically do not want to give you the money back. They've got the money, it's theirs, stiff shit to you. And I'm going to share this all on Facebook for the whole world to know about Tom Top and how they treat their customers. Anyway, thank you.